So this week has seen the creative AI space lit up by a banana. I did cover it in my last video and said I'd be back with some updates. And now that Google has had its big Made by Google event, well, yeah, we have some, sorta. But more importantly, where and, well, when you'll be getting your banana on. Plus, Runway have been on a bit of a roll, introducing a new voice feature for Act 2, and, uh, well, apparently, they've teamed up with Big Daddy G. You can now generate VO3 videos on Runway, although... You must take caution. There is danger ahead. Well, we'll definitely need to find out what that's all about. Kicking off, well, as promised, I've been keeping an eye on the latest Nano Banana developments. In terms of confirming that the Nano Banana model is indeed Google, well, we didn't get official word on the code name, but considering a lot of the DeepMind team were tweeting out banana emojis yesterday, uh, just around the same time as the Google event, well, I mean, yeah, it's pretty clear Nano Banana is Google. Now, as for the event itself, it was, well, as a lot of us predicted, uh, much more focused on the launch of the Pixel 10. And considering that it was well, hosted by Jimmy Fallon, uh, it was for sure positioned to be much more for the like normie crowd. Although obviously Gemini integration was highlighted quite a bit, uh, basically kind of showcasing that Google, I mean, they really have beaten Apple to like the AI mobile device market. That said, there was some additional reporting around the event, and actually, if you looked closely, you could spot some banana peels. Now, as speculated, Nano Banana, or GemPix, as uh, it may officially be named, I am still pushing for Nano Banana, though. It will be appearing on the Pixel 10 as a photo editor, where it was quickly demoed to, well, like, relight and reframe. But if you look at that video closely, there is the option to tap, circle, or brush to select, meaning that, uh, you know, we'll be able to get pretty finicky with our edits uh, and even, you know, do some masking. And if there are still any lingering doubts that this is indeed Nano Banana, like on the Pixel 10, uh, the YouTube channel Mr. Who's the Boss did a Pixel 10 review uh, where you can, I mean, you can kind of totally see it in action right here. Um, yeah, this shot right here, um, you can see that this is, you know, our actual photograph and, and, you know, here are some essentially nano banana alternate generations, uh, a purple haze one here, uh, with some relighting. And you can see that, uh, in the original photograph, his hands are in a completely different position. Now, all of that is of course, well and good for the mobile crowd, but of course, you know, people that watch this channel, we are much more desktop focused. And to that, we do have some news. Uh, testing catalog news uncovered that uh, essentially Gempix, which is the believed uh, true name of the Nano Banana model, had been spotted in uh, Google's Whisk. Although that is clearly not the case as of yet, taking two random photos from my desktop, uh, namely the uh, cleaned up 2001 image that we used in uh, the Nano Banana video from last time and just a picture of my guitars, uh, whisking them together for the astronaut to be playing guitar. Uh, we ended up with these images, which aren't bad, but it, it definitely is not, uh, you know, Nano Banana. But the bigger news here is that Gempix Nano Banana is expected to be featured in Google's Flow platform. Currently on Flow, you can, of course, generate images, simply come over to uh, frames to video here, uh, hit the button and then hit generate image. But as testing catalog showcases, and I'm not sure if this is actually just a comp together example, but uh, clearly we can, you know, have multiple references to combine together for text to image. Additional improvements noted by the testing catalog report uh, says that Google is testing options for vertical aspect ratios, obviously for things like TikTok and YouTube shorts. Beyond that, and if you're not rushing out to go out and buy a Pixel 10, although it does look pretty good, um, we are getting reports that in the near future, this Google Photos editing app that is Nano Banana will be pushing out to Android and iOS devices, uh, presumably after the Pixel 10 ships, uh, which is August 28th. So figure uh, just a little time after that. I also did run across a report that says that it will be available in the Google Photos desktop app as well, but that is unsubstantiated. So, um, but it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? In the meantime, LM Arena seems to be the only place that you can actually access uh, Nano Banana currently. Um, although the experiments continue to be impressive. Uh, full details on how to access it in the previous video that is linked down below. For example, Marco was able to build out like this entire like storyboard mood board sequence, uh, all essentially based off of just this one image. And I gotta say the level of detail that this model is catching is 
pretty remarkable. Um, you know, there is a bit of an issue where uh, our guy here is not wearing the same pants uh, as the guy here. But again, remember in that original image, we it was a shot like this. We like the model didn't have that information. Um, but the one that really impressed me was actually this bottom corner, the background city details. While yes, I mean, grainy and blown out for aesthetic reasons. I mean, that looks really impressive. So taking that general concept and putting my own spin on it, I ended up generating up this guy. Uh, he is living in the darkest timeline of our man in the blue business suit. It's so it's so grim in this future, uh, there, there is no blue. Giving it the prompt, create a scene with this subject entering a building shot from behind in the existing environment. We end up with this, which does hold up pretty well. There is like the repetition of whatever this is, but uh, again, who's to say it wasn't there to begin with. From there, taking him inside the building with create a cinematic uh, framed scene with the subject in a brutalist style office building lobby in the style of the existing environment, uh, we end up with this. Again, exactly what we asked for, main character stays consistent and framing was changed. And finally, reversing that with a shot of him waiting for the elevator to head up to uh, like the most depressing bureaucratic job ever. Another kind of insane example from Shuta Fukuya here, your Uncle Joe hanging out with the gang, just smoking cigarettes indoors, as you did in the early 1970s. I will admit this was one that I actually had to punch in on just to double check to see if it was AI generated or not. I'm pretty sure it is uh, considering the fingers there. Um, but yeah, I mean, that was for a minute there, pretty convincing. But really blowing me away is the fact that Nano Banana can give us a completely different angle on this shot. Uh, and so much of it remains consistent. Like these background couches, I mean, those are the couches in the initial input image. I uh, even got kind of like there's a like a little bit of uh, a leaf here. And the model was smart enough to kind of put the leaf of like a palm frond. I think that's what they were, uh, whatever that was that was big back in the 70s. In all honesty, it's probably made out of plastic considering, you know, how much this gang is sitting around smoking indoors. Bonus points too for Nano Banana actually generating an ashtray down here as well. Two final notes on this. Uh, for one, uh, beware, there is a website going around called nanobanana.ai uh, that uh, claims to be, you know, Nano Banana at work. You sign up, pay money, and then utilize Nano Banana. It is not Nano Banana. Now, to note, these are Nano Banana images. In fact, the one down here is from friend of the channel, uh, Wusha Rocks. Um, but yeah, again, you are not actually utilizing Nano Banana here. So, you know, stay away. And finally, interestingly, uh, Google's kind of making a deal out of VO3 being available on the Gemini app, which is a little confusing to me considering I thought we had it already. Wait, not only am I a prompt, but I was generated on a phone? I don't know how I feel about that. So I'm not exactly sure what the deal here is, but yeah, uh, the Gemini app is letting us know that starting tomorrow, you'll be able to generate VO3 videos. Um, uh, you know, again, I don't know what price point tier, um, if this is open to everyone, I seriously doubt it's going to be completely free. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, I'll let you know when I find out more. Overall, the you know Google and DeepMind team seem to be on fire right now. I'm sure uh, we'll be talking about them again next week. Uh, okay, let's go head over to Runway, see what they've got brewing. But first, I have said it before, one of the best things about this channel is, well, you guys. Your comments and, well, knowledge in all kinds of areas outside of AI are like, endlessly inspiring to me. So if you've ever thought about sharing that knowledge with a wider audience via a course, uh, Teachable, who were kind enough to sponsor today's video, is a great place to do it. And I'll say, if you're feeling intimidated by the idea, you really don't have to be. This doesn't have to be a masterclass on like quantum field theory and celestial mechanics. You could start very simple with a, a, a workshop on how to make sourdough bread. And yes, that is my subtle way of getting the Swifties to watch the channel. Super Bowl halftime show confirmed here. Anyhow, back to Teachable, who I'm sure you're aware of as they have been a longstanding leader in the field of online education. And as of now, it's easier than ever to build a course, offer coaching, or platform your digital downloads, harnessing the power of AI. So hypothetically, if we wanted to build an AI video prompting course, uh, all we have to do is tell Teachable what the course is about, as well as a very brief description of it. And in no time at all, we do indeed have a curriculum for uh, an entire course on uh, prompting for AI video. Now, 
all of this is of course editable and kind of incredibly within each section there actually is a lesson overview along with key lesson concepts as well although this is also the part that you'll want to edit to bring in your you know personal take and knowledge but honestly as a starting point this is something that would normally take hours or days and you know on teachable it's basically done in like seconds from there you can launch everything with ease using a customizable sales page with seo optimized templates plus using their app hub you can integrate tools like stripe PayPal, Zapier, MailChimp, and more. Basically, everything you need to get started is built right in. And if you're interested in pushing beyond a one-time course, uh, Teachable has their 9 to 5 Quitters community, newsletter, and podcast that provides tips and insights to stay inspired and take action. So if you've been thinking about using your knowledge and converting it into a side hustle or a full-time business, uh, you should definitely check out Teachable. Plus, they've been kind enough to provide us with an exclusive 30 day free extended trial. Just hit the link in the description and start creating something that pays off. Hey, my thanks to Teachable for sponsoring today's video. Sliding over to the runway side of things, uh, they went on a bit of an announcement frenzy this week with uh, like at least like three big stories coming out of them. Uh, the first being that we can now change voices in Act 2. If you missed my coverage on Act 2, I did a whole video on it and, and a short film. Uh, that'll be linked down below. If not, I mean, you can follow along here. Um, so we're just going to upload an image of uh, kind of one of our like stone uh, mid-journey spies. Now to note, you can actually upload driving video here as well. Uh, for our purposes, we're just going to leave it uh, as a still image. And then uh, you can add driving performance once again, uploading a video, or you can simply just turn on your webcam. And this is always weird, but um, yeah, we're just going to do this live. I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't have my line. Um, I am 100% not a spy. I am definitely, definitely not a spy. I am 100% not a spy. I am definitely, definitely not a spy. Overall, pretty decent. I probably could have picked a better image, uh, once again, to orientate with, you know, essentially the direction of my face, but you know, it, it all works. Actually, the background details are really nice in here. Uh, now, obviously that sounds very much like me. Um, so if we want to change out the voice, uh, simply come down to here and uh, yeah, we are right there, change voice. Um, that will repopulate uh, over uh, on this side, wow, what a frame there. It looks like a uh, Willem Dafoe. And from there, we have a number of different voices that we can audition and choose from. I am 100% not a spy. I am definitely, definitely not a spy. So that was the voice of Kirk. Now, if some of these names, or at least these icons, uh, look a little bit familiar to you, I am pretty confident that uh, this is probably Eleven Labs under the hood. They all definitely do have a bit of that like stock 11 labs kind of sound to them. Um, this is something that I would definitely, you know, preview beforehand, audition the voices, uh, and then, you know, really kind of work on vocal performances. I think you can get a lot out of them if you work them. Uh, the thing that I am looking forward to is being able to either customize voices on runway or utilize my voices, you know, from 11 labs uh, that would definitely save a round trip as I had to do on the War of the Worlds short film uh, and just, you know, saves you a ton of like headache in terms of file management. Speaking of partnerships, and this was actually kind of surprising. Um, yeah, Runway have actually partnered with Google, specifically VO3, uh, and you can now generate uh, VO3 videos on Runway. The way that you do this is that uh, it's through essentially the chat um, interface that Runway is going with here, sort of more the agentic thing. Um, so you can't actually, there's no pull down to you know create VO3 videos. Uh, instead, you set your chat settings to all. The other option is Runway only. So um, clicking it over to all. So for example, trying out a man in a green tuxedo pins a photo of a man in a blue business suit to a wall in a dimly lit apartment, grim cinematic crime film. Now, I will say if I do have a complaint about this is that our, you know, our green tuxedo guy, it, it, the tuxedo ends up kind of looking a little on the black side. So that's what's kind of interesting about, you know, utilizing this on Runway is that uh, we can simply ask, can you make the man's tuxedo more green? And interestingly, Runway ended up choosing uh, Olive in order to make that edit. Uh, and this was our result. 
I do have to say a few problems here, uh, namely in that Olaf only uh, generates five seconds, so we missed the end of that clip and um, kind of did scramble up our man in the blue business suit a little bit here. Workarounds here might be to shave off the first three seconds of our initial clip here, uh, run this actually through something like Nano Banana, change the uh, tuxedo into green, and then utilize that either as a first frame or as a reference image for Olaf. Additionally, from here, we have all of our other, you know, standard runway features, uh, upscale it to 4K, uh, extend it out with a used frame, uh, restylize. I mean, yeah, uh, the list is kind of endless um, on the runway platform. Now, here's the thing, is that you're probably thinking, hey, that $99 runway unlimited plan just got really appealing. Well, the thing is that you can't actually generate uh, VO3 videos in the unlimited mode. You do have to use credit mode for that. Um, and with that, essentially, um, your credit plan on unlimited per month is 2,250. And having Gemini do some math for me, uh, the you know credits per second essentially on runway four VO3 are 75 credits. So it is still substantially expensive, especially compared to the 12 to 15 credits per second of uh, Gen 4 or uh, Olive. And look, I'm not blaming runway for that. I mean, we know VO3 is a very expensive model, but I am very excited to see runway expanding out via these partnerships. I'm sure that VO3 is not gonna be the only video generator that they're partnering with. Um, so, you know, another cheaper um, model coming along and being able to utilize that along with Act 2, uh, Olaf, and all of the other runway toys. I mean, that that is making for a very powerful platform. And finally, rounding out on runway news, uh, Game Worlds is now in beta. I took a look at this uh, like maybe about a month ago or so. Uh, this was that thing where you could create and play a kind of a text-based game um, that, you know, frames would generate images for. It's actually a lot of fun. I, I do highly recommend just checking it out. Now, I'll fully admit that Game Worlds is not like visual eye candy in the same way that like Gemini 3 is, uh, but it is actually, again, a ton of fun and really allows you to kind of dig into the narrative of a game. Like, again, think like text-based, sort of like, you know, Zork, but AI. If you want to check out the video where I went exploring in Game Worlds, that'll be linked down below. Or if you're a runway user and you just want to jump in, uh, the link to uh, Game Worlds is down below. So I guess that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to go circle around, do the news rounds, and I'm sure I'm just going to get started on my next video. As always, I thank you for watching. My name is Tim.